everyone. So I want to do a quick video um, to basically just warn some people about persimmons. So these are persimmons. This fruit here. I absolutely love them. But I keep having these issues with them. I've had this issue before last year. Um, and where basically there are fibres inside this that don't digest. And if you've got like a low stomach acid level or you've got a, a kind of a digestive system that's not as strong as, as it could be, um, like mine, because I have suffered with eating disorders in the past, my digestion is kind of a bit, bit sensitive and can find things very hard to digest. Um, things like persimmons in particular can create something called a bezoar which is basically where you get lots of the undigestible fibres and they kind of wrap around each other in the in your um, stomach all together like that. They can't kind of pass through you. They kind of just sit in your stomach and that's when they start to kind of uh, get bacteria on them and start to make you feel quite sick. So basically, yeah, like I said, this happened last year and this has happened today where I've woken up and I just feel really, really nauseous. Um, and just the nausea will come in waves and you'll just kind of be sick. Well, I woke up and um, yeah, I just started to feel like I was gonna be sick and just feeling really kind of just pain in my stomach or like an ache in my stomach. It's not like a sharp pain, it was more like an ache. Um, and yeah, I just started to feel really kind of sick, like I was gonna throw up. And um, another characteristic that you know it's like a bezel is if like it's got this particular burp that kind of tastes a bit horrible um and yeah so this, that's not the only type of bezel there's other types of bezels like some are some are formed by like hair and if you've ingested like hair and um other kind of indigestible things um and this one in particular was uh, one based on fiber caused by persimmons um, this is because I ate persimmons whole. I don't actually have, I've never had this problem when I have them in a smoothie or if I have them blended in a sauce or something. It seems to only be when I have them whole and I had a mono meal of persimmons yesterday. Yeah, it's been horrible and I actually did throw up this morning and I did throw up at one of the bezels. And I know that there is another one in there because it kind of got stuck in my throat and didn't come out and it was horrible so I actually did get the bezel so that people can see it if they want to see it and I'll stick that on at the end of the video um, I'll put a little warning up so you can see it if you want to see it because <laughs> some people don't mind seeing these things want to know what it is and uh, some people don't need to know so I'll put a little warning up so you can see it if you want you can see it if you don't want um, but yeah so and the cure basically for bezels is the only one that I found and the one that I tried last year that actually did work was horribly enough Coca-Cola because it's so acidic, 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 it's so acidic that basically it kind of mimics your stomach acid level and helps break it down and pass it through your digestive tract. And it, it's the only thing I found last year that actually worked for me. And it, um, yeah, I just had like a bottle of Coke, which is horrible because I hate the stuff. Um, and then, yeah, the next, I had that in the evening and then the next morning I passed them. So, and then the issue was kind of gone. Um, this year I kind of, I forgot about the whole bezoar thing and I had a big plate of persimmons, just these normal persimmons, persimmons whole. And uh, yeah, I woke up this morning feeling really horrible and really sick. So that's what I'm gonna have to do, which is horrible because I really don't want to. But um, at the same time, I don't wanna just be sitting here getting waves of nausea and having something indigestible, generating bacteria inside my digestive tract because that's extremely unhealthy too. So yeah, needs must at the moment. Um, and yeah, so I, that's all I really wanted to say is just warning people about persimmons and bezoars, especially if you've got a particularly weak digestive tract um, or impa impaired in any way, if you've got low stomach acid levels, if you've, you know, um, got a kind of, do they call it a lazy digestive tract? I don't know. 
but yeah, if you've got any of those issues, to just beware of persimmons. If you want to eat them, stick them in a smoothie instead, and then it can break up the fibres so that they don't kind of get get stuck in a ball. But the ball with the bees or things, they're really horrible. They kind of they look. It's really weird because they look like um, like a little meatball or something like that. So. Which is kind of like, which freaked me out last year. I'm thinking, what? I haven't eaten meat in like over a year. How am I throwing up a meatball? And then when I like researched and researched into it, I found out it's a beetle. Um, yeah, so it's just in like bits of indigestible food. So that's probably a recipe for disaster yesterday because I had the persimmons in the day and then the evening I had a huge salad. And because the blend, we wasn't really using a blender, although I did in the end because I borrowed my mum's, but... I basically chopped up loads of the veg instead of blending it all up, so I probably had loads and loads of fibre. So on top of that other fibre, it's just wrapped up in this whole big ball in my in my stomach, and that's why I've woken up just feeling really horrible. So yeah, I just wanted to warn people about these, because I've had this twice now and it's really unpleasant. So yeah, blend them, blend them, don't eat them whole. <laughs> now I'll show you the bees all. Okay, so this is the bezel. It's only a little one that came out. And uh, it's probably only part of one as well, so there's probably way more in there. And yeah, as I said, it, like, it looks like a meatball. It's not gonna focus on it there. And that's just it stuck on some tissue. Yeah, it looks like a meatball, and it really does look like a meatball. But it's just basically lots of indigestible fibers. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty gross, so. Yeah, that's not something you want gathering lots of germs and bacteria or growing bacteria in your digestive tract. There you go. Not the bees are everyone. <laughs>